Hi, and welcome back to Build Magic. Um, I had some requests from the last video I did on the sunken patio to show a little bit of how the structural was done. So what we do first is we will excavate to the depth that we require and um, get basically the general pit dug out. Um, you get to a point and then you've got a hand dig and do the final shaping by shovel. But um, so we'll get down a couple feet and um, check our depths, put a laser in there, make sure everything is nice and level and um, get the hole dug. And um, it, what's important getting the hole dug is, is make sure you have a nice compacted solid um, base after you're done that it's not real loose. So here you can see the comp the excavation's done and then the perimeter is dug for a footing around the edge. Uh, in this image the guys are pouring the the footing and uh, it's kind of just a rough pour and then they'll set some rebar on it that the block can slip over. Um, they do that all around the perimeter. Um, once you get your block in um, you can check everything, make sure everything's level and plumb and square and uh, get the general shape. And then you're off to the races uh, to create a cap. So this is a cap for the block. So what I do is um, I take some threaded rod. This is quarter 20 rod and um, I'll add uh, nuts to it and create kind of a spreader um, or, or, or a form tie as it's called. And um, here you can see I'm adding the nuts. Once I get about 20 or 30 of these built, I'll sandwich them between um, some form boards. You can see one laying on the table right there. So get the threaded rod uh, ready and uh, get all these form ties built all to the same dimension. You can see I lay it on the table. I have a little mark on the table so I get them all exactly at 6 inches. That's the width of the block itself and then slap the sandwich together and then put two nuts on the outside to hold it all together. And you'll see in a second um, how it works. It's a very simple method and it's very easy to take apart and um, the form ties can actually be reused. And here you can see I'm just getting a couple more built and uh, getting ready and then I'll show you exactly what they're used for. So in this next image, um, you can see the guys working. The form ties are set on top of the block. Um, the forms are ready. There's concrete in them already. And there you can see a two by four there to give it a, a nice straight edge kind of a strong back just to keep them nice and straight. So the guys are pouring these full and um, they'll start to shape everything and get everything kind of flat and make sure there's no uh, air pockets in there and kind of work the concrete for a little while and they'll get these uh, block caps built. Here the guys are, um, they're just creating a step outside of the sliding glass door. So it's kind of a landing. So when we come out of the house, um, you can step on the landing and then there'll be a set of stairs from the landing down into the social pit. You can see the guy in the gloves in the back, the red gloves. He's putting a little edge on the cap. Um, after the, the cap is poured and the bench was poured or the landing i'm sorry the the guy is the last thing they'll do is the actual slab itself this is a five inch slab and um you can see they'll start to generally shape this and then once i get it um ready they'll they'll do some finish work and get it nice and flat and smooth and they'll do a little edge work too and uh, clean it all up this is about a six hour process getting the pour you've got to have a good size group obviously concrete sets up pretty quick so we had six people on this one um, 
and it probably takes about four or five hours to get to this finish point. In this image, you can see the top cap on the block. Uh, it's got a nice little eased edge. And here's the landing outside the sliding door. And this is kind of the finished product setting up. We'll let it sit for about 24 hours and then we'll strip those forms that we created off of the uh, block cap. And that's pretty simple. You just uh, double nut um, using a driver, just back the threaded rod right out of the forms and everything just falls away. And that's about it. Um, in the next video, um, we're going to get into the finishes, stairways, the benches, um, the cushions, things of that nature. And uh, there's one more video in this sequence, and it'll show the uh, finished product. So thanks again for coming, and uh, see you in the next video.